Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be going over how to make this awesome painted project using just paint, canvas, and vinyl. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel, and let's go ahead and jump right into how to make this awesome craft. Okay, so our first step is going to be to pull whatever design and image we're going to be using into Cricut Design Space. So here I have the image of a couple under an umbrella, and I'm going to be um, pulling this one in. So I did that, and then once you pull in your image, you want to go ahead and copy and paste that image. And the reason we're copy and pasting it is so that it's the exact same size. So once we do that, we are going to jump, jump over here and grab a shape. We're going to take a square. We're gonna move it over one of our images and I'm gonna unlock it so that I can manipulate the um, square to make it more of a rectangle type shape. And what we're doing here is we are creating a solid piece so that when we put the paint on, the rain will look like it goes completely around our image versus you know kind of going over or kind of going underneath our umbrella because when it rains, the idea is that rain goes over um, the umbrella and leaves the people underneath without the rain. So that's what we're trying to achieve by doing this. So just take whatever shape you have and manipulate it to where your image is covered. So that when you do paint um, over it by running it over the canvas, it will not get on this section of the canvas. So we want to keep this section of the canvas blank so that we can go back and put our other image on our blank piece when it's completely done. So now that I have my um, rectangle all here. We want to select both the umbrella and the square. And now what we want to do is we want to head over here and we want to weld it together. There we go. Now it looks funny but this is going to be what keeps that section of the canvas completely white so that we can go back in and put this image um, on the white section once our paint is done. So. From here, go ahead and cut both of these images out and we will go ahead and proceed with putting it on the canvas. Okay, so here I have um, the images that I just had on my screen, if you can see them, it's a little dark there. Um, but they are cut out of uh, 631 Oracle vinyl. Take whatever weeding tool that you have and we are going to go ahead, let's see, and we are going to remove this backing, so this is here, oops, all stuck to you. This is the one with the shape that is welded together, so the umbrella and the rectangle welded. So this is what I'm gonna go ahead and start with. So I'm gonna take my transfer tape right here, and I'm going to go ahead and apply this. So that it looks like this and I'm going to peel it off and I will show you exactly how I do the next part of sticking it onto the canvas so we can start painting. Okay so now we're going to go ahead and take our vinyl um, and peel off our transfer tape so that our vinyl is adhered to the transfer tape like so. And then you're going to take a canvas, this one I just got from any craft store and you can do the same. And I want their feet to be on the bottom of the canvas, so that's where I'm going to make my image come here. And I'm just going to go ahead and press this down gently. And then I'm going to carefully pull up the transfer tape. Okay, so once you have your transfer tape peeled off, you want to take your squeegee and just go over it again to make sure that all of the, any of the little bubbles um, are out because you want to make sure all the edges are sealed. This way, none of the paint will get underneath it as we start to drip the paint. So I want it to run downwards, so I'm going to start it at a little bit of an angle, not too much. Okay, it's starting to come together and it's like the rain. It's not perfect, it's, it's messy. It's, if it was perfect, it wouldn't be what we were going for. So we want it to be splotchy. We want it to be just random because that's part of what makes it so beautiful. 
in its own way. So just fill in what you need and have fun with it. Make sure you have enough paint as you're dripping it down that it will run all the way. And what I'm doing here is just filling in those edges at the top as best I can. So that I have a smooth starting point. I'm going to let this dry and we'll apply our vinyl and I will show you our finished product. our image on the transfer tape. And we're going to go back over it just to make sure all our vinyl is nice and smooth. And here is our final finished product. And so yeah, as you can see, it's very simple and easy to do. It's super fun. So if you like the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new because we do things like this every week. So thank you guys for watching.